Yo, what's up, guys? It's a Sunday, and uh, today we're having two legends. Uh, ben Nyatanga, a basketball legend, he plays for Zim Team. And we have Kevin Kasuza again, he plays for the national cricket team. So I'll be inviting Dr. Mavima to come and talk to the guys and hear more about them. So let me try to add Dr. Mavima here. Okay, we're still waiting, we're still waiting for Doc so that we can start the interview. Yeah, I can see Doc is here, so I'm adding Doc right now. Yo, Doc, what's up? Hello, how's it going? I'm good, bro. How's it that side? All right. I'm good. I'm good, man. I just like I was. Uh, I just want to uh, apologize to to our listeners uh, who may have tuned in earlier. There was a little bit of a mi uh, uh, mix up, and uh, we got our timing wrong. I just came out of church, even though we're doing it online. But I just had to take some time to myself to do that. But I'm glad to be to be here to talk to the to the boys. So. Oh, it's okay. So today I have two guys with me here. I have Kevin Kasuza and Ben Yatanga. So like Ben uh, is a basketball player. He plays for the national team, and Kevin is also okay. he also plays for the national team. He's a cricketer. So okay. first, I'm going to give it to I'm going to give it to to Kevin. Uh, all right, sounds good. But but they are both there, so we can uh, we can be talking back and forth, Andy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Together. All right. Uh, so, uh, to to those of you who tried to join us on on Friday, Tangatina, uh, uh, Kevin, again, at the time, but our internet was weak, so we'll be going over some of the same things that we went over last time. Uh, so because there was some repetition, uh, please just uh, we attribute it to that we're trying to do the whole thing over again. Uh, Mr. Gasus, how are you doing today? What's up, Joe? How are you? I'm doing well, Baba. I'm doing well. Uh, thank you, thank you again for for taking time to to join us here. So, uh, some questions, but chance but I got uh, that video wasn't good. Uh, you may just have to go over some of the things. Uh, but let me uh, let me welcome Mr. Nyatanga as well. Uh, Tisa Tena, good. Mr. Nyatanga, how are you? I'm good. How are you, Doc? Hi. Uh, so, so let, me, let me start with uh, uh, with uh, with our writer here. Uh, Time TT hearing some interesting stories about uh your two nicknames, uh which are Bo and Mazoe. Uh uh just tell us the the the, the, the how those names came to be again. Uh Bravo and the Jarin Bravo. West Indies. Yeah. Then the Redeemers do it. So that that's how you got the name Azo and this was at your at your team, the professional team you've played for your whole professional career. Which is Mountaineers, I did it. Uh -huh. This incident happened to Co Mountaineers, I did it. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Uh, so, 
tell us uh, your journey to, to being a professional cricketer. Uh, those listeners who would have seen this, we shared on the Nangamvura United page uh, the moment when you received your, 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 your test cap from uh, Captain uh, Brendan Taylor. Uh, so can you tell us a little bit about how you Magatanga say cricket, you know, and it's also important because pa, pa ghetto growing up, everyone plays uh, plays uh, soccer and cricket was just something new at the time. Uh, Saka, tell us a little bit about your story with Magatanga say cricket and, uh, and where were you when you started uh, and your journey uh, up until you get to Mountaineers? Uh, okay, like last week I told you the like Tamba football talk. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Yeah, so very daily practice is so so coach and mm -hmm. Then in 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 First day, I was in Nutanga with Tamba cricket. And the next day, I was in the practice. So, I was in the cricket. Then, uh, after two days, cricket team, I got a game. I got a Tamba cricket game, and I did well. So, I got a game. Then, I started playing cricket. Then, I started playing cricket. Then, I started playing cricket. Right, 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 right. So, okay. All right, all right. And this was at uh, at Chiroakamne, one of the four primary schools in in Dangamvura. Uh, so, yeah. okay, okay. And you mentioned uh, receiving a a a scholarship. A scholarship. Uh, to, yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. And this was to uh, was it to Mutare Boys I? Yes, Mutare Boys I. All right, all right. So. What, what was that experience? Was that uh, Mutara Boys I uh, had a, what was the what was the cricket program like there? He is a cricket scholarship. Like uh, one okay. for every year, one of our three guys uh, from Mutara. So fortunately, I was one of the three guys. All but, right. Uh, getting a scholarship from Mutara Boys I. I think it's a blessing because I don't know how much time I up to now because it's about the Ambira national team. Yeah. yeah. All right, all right, all right. Uh, sounds good. So at this time, let me. Uh, uh, we'll come back to 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 uh, to Mr. Kasuza, who has who has an amazing story. But let me let me switch to uh, to to Ben right now. So. Mr. Mr. Ben, uh, basketball superstar. Uh, which part of Nangamvura are you from? Yeah, uh, Mapi, around P. All right. This is uh, my soldier or the other one? Yeah, my soldier. My soldier. All right, all right. Ah, uh, so all right. Uh, tell us as well how you get into 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 basketball. Uh, like I've said, uh, like you heard me saying to uh, to to Kevin, uh, growing up it seemed like everybody was playing soccer. So people started to play uh, another sport, whether cricket or basketball. It was such a different thing to do. Saka, magatanga se kutama kutama basketball when you did. Okay, uh, basketball, I started playing it when I was in grade 7. So, okay. unfortunately, uh, I couldn't play games when I was in grade 7 because I was too tall to qualify for the, for the maximum possible height. They, they were approving that uh, during those days. So, I only wow. got to start uh, playing. I only got to start playing the game when I was in Form 1 when I went to St. Dominic. Okay. All right. So, uh, so to our viewers who may be who may be listening in other places and, and don't know what he's uh, what he's talking about when he says the bar. So in primary schools in Zimbabwe, I don't know if they still do it right now, 
Uh, but when you got into grade seven, or which is the final year, um, even if you're younger than if you're just tall, uh, they measure how tall you are um, or with this bar. And if you are taller uh, than a certain uh, than a certain height, then you uh, you can't play primary school uh, sport. It's crazy uh, to think about, but it's something that they do. Which are good to measure bar. Uh, right now, I'm not sure if they are still doing it with basketball, but then among yeah. my sports, yeah, they do. They are still doing it. Oh wow! Yeah, it's it's very it's it's very strange because you know emotion. You know, it's, it's just what it is. I mean, but in any case, which which primary school was this? Uh, I went to Zamba Primary School in Sakuba. This is in Sakuba. Exactly. Yeah, but you still live in Nakamura and you went to, to school in, in, in Zamba? No, back then, uh, I got to Sakuba. But then, I was moved to, oh. to Nakamura. Okay, all right, all right. So, uh, your, your playing experience, you start playing in grade seven. At what point uh, do you start to think which are? about there may be something special about me, Karaguti, you know, uh, I could I could make it far in this sport. I would say when I was in grade seven, that was the mm -hmm. beginning, because we, we would play basketball uh, on a netball pitch, and I would make sure okay. on those uh, netball rings. So now you can imagine, if wow. you can make shots on those netball rings, uh, how many shots can you make on a real basketball court? So uh, right. uh, I would say, from the beginning, I could feel that I was good at the sport. That's why I had mm -hmm. to play it when I went to Team 1. Okay. How, how long did it take you to get Mu uh, Mu school team to, to, to St. Dominic's, the, the main team? The main team, I got into the main team when I was in Form 2. That's when I started playing wow. in, the, in the first team. That's with that's with uh with uh upper sixes and, and other people like that. Exactly, yeah. Wow, that's incredible. That's incredible. All right. Uh let, let me also ask then before before I uh I switch uh and the you know I, I, I I'm spending some time building uh this background because we did some of this now uh now Mr. Kasuza already. So, with what was the first? Uh, what what clubs have you played? Have you have you played your basketball for? Okay, I've played for Dangambura Night in Dangambura, okay. and then I also played for Arre City Basketball in Arare. Arre City okay. it. But now, right now, at the moment, I'm I'm playing for uh, JBC. That's Joe's Basketball Club. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. All right. Where, where where is that one based? It's based in Arari. That's where I'm based right now. I'm playing in Arari. All right. All right. All right. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right. And uh. And 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 uh, you mentioned uh like Cobbs was mentioning in the beginning, uh the national team. Uh, when was the first time first time you played for the national team, and can you describe the moment you got that call up? Okay, uh, I started. I started playing for the national. My first national team cap was in 2018. When you okay. played uh, Mozambique, that was my first national team cap. But I, they, they, yes. they, they had always called me for trials. But then you know it was difficult to make the team. But as we all say, mm. we, all, we always say that we have to trust the process. So I finally made made the team mm. in 2018. Okay. Can you uh can you describe the moment uh two moments that, that I would like to hear from you? One, the first time you get called for trials, and two, the moment in 2018 when you finally break into the team. How how do how how does that feel? Can you describe could Jaga Famba say in that moment uh and and how you felt? 
how 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 were you told and how did it feel okay uh, the first call up came up, it came as a as an email uh okay. i can tell you it was it was it was an exciting moment i was very happy to mm. get the call up mm-hmm. and then the first time that i was i made it the, the call you know nothing can ever beat uh, the feeling when you're crossing your arm across your chest singing the national anthem and playing the game for the for, for, for the national team it was the best moment Man. ever yeah that's amazing uh that's amazing uh so at, at this point i want to i want to switch back to uh to kevin uh so he can tell us about uh about his experience as well as far as uh uh getting called up for the national team uh kevin yes uh yes. same question baba same question uh can you describe uh for you two moments the time that you you got called up to the team and number two the time that you uh actually played your first game can you describe how you heard the news and how you how you felt yeah uh, obviously it's an honor to play for your country so mm-hmm. i think uh, uh like i told you i played 10 10 years playing for mountain mm-hmm. so but in this escape out tambira nyika eh bakashandwa bakash mm yeah i need to do nyebe mawan eh but ngudo ngutinda mwali but pesa aba ndi mbufungo kuti maybe ndakatamba 3 years i thought to share to tamba next year acha no tamba the next year chingo enda kufika ba 10 years but uh i think luck and the eta season is tanga uh 2019 2020 season uh-huh. um, i think then three then three top run score from season new year eh okay. of which diri open you know, open basement all uh, right and o uh, national team kwa kuni sport ya uh, open basement because uh, ami uchwe nanga ali tire all right yeah so ndo pande ka tutoro chance ya che and kati this is my chance again so dangu pay for mom season ni mom mom zvikuto i was outstanding mhm she was go pina camp that was the 30 men squad all right and kwandiri ndanzi kuti that still on chat down because dangu fungo is one of those years for 10 years there the dangu pina ma camp and pano zvikuta final squad then the three mom squad but i was surprised mm-hmm. i i made the 15 men squad so Man. Came, uh, four days before i the got to our and coach is can see only chance ne 90% chance to go south town so from there i tengo na mato kuti go please this is the time and do yes right uh, Time ya gazusi. Para bosi ya shigara. And 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 uh, your your first game uh that was against uh was that Bangladesh or Sri Lanka your first one? Sri Lanka. Uh so confidence go how far were you were you were you nervous kana kuti mamu tingoti ah it's basa as usual how how did how were you how did you cuz first first batsman right no kuti no kuti game uku you know the game starts with you on your first game and you yeah. start this game and uh so how yeah so were you afraid were you nervous were you was it just uh, like playing for mountaineers how did the, how, how was that um yeah the feeling of that yeah obviously nobody ta manives mchitanga but yeah no one is about to rango man i i don't even confident you know that is a sister and your pain 
my wife. Yeah. Taka. Taka mni dangerous zindi. Ah, kun dangerous na. Eh, ah, nice, 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 nice. I I didn't know you guys were were connected in that way as well. So, ah, uh, ah, uh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. All right. So, ah, uh, tell us about um. uh who um uh, you already mentioned of course your your support system uh uh that that is your wife but in the in the in the game uh, who are some uh some important people who have inspired you uh whether coaches or other players uh that you have looked up to or that have that you can say have helped where you are i think in career cricket almost everyone when you know tamba na i can not know coach is the mm-hmm. special but uh, obviously you know one who got close now oh, like my my coach is angu ekuchoro then my coach of mountaineers ni ni wangu wangu kuti anongo chitongo for ticket e what very special one who can sound support amne zvese nichi da but uh, in Diga changa uzo wa teora wanu wani Ande wa pizi Yeah I think kwa hili ni mkiri ya mkiri ya mkiri I think kuti Everyone uh, is important Mkiri ya Right, right Okay uh, What about uh, Tell me a little bit about And I'm saying this because I, I read your, your Wikipedia page And uh, the one name that I remember Seeing on the page Was uh, Was a coach named Uh uh foster mbiti uh and i just wanted kum kum kumbonzwa because gona munhu zita ranyorwa ka pa pa page munhu so ka zvino kuti ha maybe they played an important role so can you tell us about the role that that particular uh coach played uh in your in your career right a foster mbiti the angari first coach from we go and a like a said they tamb cricket ni so so paka zvika stage kuti nanda kutiza kuti cricket nda kunda so then kuta anoya kumba kwedu achinona my party akaudzota achi kumbiro kuti keva hadzo kuti atambi chi cricket in the the club ka nda ngudzwa nema party nda kuti ayo kuti vakwe cricket apa na pachi kuti kutambi chi cricket then do pan to go cricket pa pa puta and uh, he put it in the one scholarship and uh, the good thing is is a poster i chose the cricket but musen uh, later debut he drove from tari to harare am kana 3 am kuti asking chona chitamba wow ah uh. yeah ah uh, that's love and and that's one of the things that we we talk a lot about uh, that i like to to point out kuan because you know the the story is often told that are uh, in zimbabwe and especially pa ghetto ah uh, what uh, you know at uh, supportane chi 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 but when you hear stories like that it makes you feel good good chi uh, there are good people out there there are people who are who are rooting for our success uh so yeah so 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 that's good let me switch back to uh to to ben for for a little bit and then follow up on the same questions kuti do, do you remember your do you remember your uh said mozambique that was your first game uh for the national team yes all right so let me ask you this then uh Who are some of the coaches and players who who helped uh who are coaches and players or even just other people from from either from around the country or from overseas that that have inspired you as as a basketball player All right uh firstly I'd like to point out uh Mr. Shasha coach Shasha coach of Nanga Mbanda yeah. yes 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 uh, he was my he was my mentor since uh when i was in form 
Home 3, Home 4. It's always been there for me. Uh, Saka is the first one that I have to point out. And then also talk of uh, uh, Moses Miyambo. Coached me uh, in these games. Coach Zimo. I'm sure you know him. Yes. Also, he also played for the national team. And then yes, also yes, special yes. mention for Coach Tolle, Innocent Tolle. was also my coach. Uh, it's okay. uh, provincial level. And right. Uh, right now, I would mention my coach as well, my current coach, Mr. Adson Chuare, the head coach of uh, okay. JPC. He's also right. my mentor in the sport. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, all right, so uh, those are a few. Actually, uh, to our listeners, uh, you would have seen uh, that we had uh, uh, Coach Donde and, 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 and Zimo in our previous interview. So make sure you follow up on that. These are, these are great men, and we can see how everybody is connected here. Um, okay, what about this? Who is your favorite basketball player of all time? No, Kevin Durant. Ah, boy. KG. Okay. <laughs> KG. Is it that? All time. Wow. He's my all time. Ah, He's my all time. Wow. That that that's a, that's amazing. Uh I think KG is an amazing player, man. But hey, uh, all time is is high, high praise, Baba. <laughs> Ah, uh, good. You think so? good. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but I know you and you and you and uh and and Boss Cobbs probably agree on that. But I know Boss Cobbs loves uh, you know, loves uh, loves KD as well. Um, okay. Yeah. So let me let me also ask this then. What has uh um. If we were to talk about three qualities that have gotten you where you are right now, because Kushka have a national team, my senior, even Kungo, even Ungo Shikaku to play uh, basketball uh, for a for for a club the way you have done, it's a, it's it's a long journey, you know. Um, so can you tell us three words that uh, that you can share with Wafana Kuti? This is what has gotten me where I am today. And maybe more to the next story after that shows Kutemukati hard work, then Motaro, what uh, what that hard work looked like. All right. Uh, I'll okay. start with discipline. Exactly. Discipline. Okay. You know, nowadays, there's too much, there's too much drug abuse. People are smoking, mm -hmm. people are drinking too much. But then mm -hmm. discipline got me where I am right now. Because instead of doing all those things, I'll spend my time on the court playing basketball. So you okay. you find that all my energy was directed towards uh, my my career as a sport person, rather than doing other okay. things that most youngsters uh, are doing. Then right. from there I'll talk of hard work, like you just mentioned. You can never go anywhere without hard work. Some of us uh, yeah. we would uh, wake up in the morning and go. And go run the mountain, you know, Manikale in this mountain. Early morning, exactly. Yeah, we are running the mountain. And then from there, you're on the court, you're training. You train all day. And then, fortunately for us, we had the program, you know, if you're aware of Hope So Up, that's the, yes, yes, yes. the, the program that, that brought us to where we are right now. So, we would have okay. coaches in the morning, we would have coaches in the afternoon, and we would have coaches uh, later in the day. So, We would be a coach on the court, so we would we would, right. we would play basketball any mm -hmm. given time. Mm -hmm. All right. And also, one, one last uh, thing that I can I can talk about uh, I can talk of uh, being good, a good listener. Okay. Yes. Uh, throughout my career, I, I always had my my, my mentors like uh, Coach Tonde, uh, Coach Zimo, mm -hmm. Coach Supi. Gave me ad in what to do. So in order to execute things, you have to listen to others we have been before. So mm -hmm. I would say yeah, those are three qualities that uh, took me to where I am right now. 
Ah, uh, sounds good. Well, sounds good. So you say discipline, hard work, and being a good listener, and and uh, you know finding good mentors and listening to them. Uh, let me ask the same question to to Kevin then. Uh, Kevin, if you could uh, tell us uh, three words uh, and uh, and uh, and the story to go with them, just like uh, uh, Ben did. Uh, Jokuti, you can say Kuti. Or even even other people, right? Because it's not just Wakfana. It's just our careers. You know, this advice is you know works whether Uri Uri basketball cricket player can also Uri Uri builder can a muimbi chaya. So, what are three things that you can talk about that have uh, that have gotten you where you are today? Three things. Hello? Your, your mic went out. Uh, can you hear me? Kevin? Sorry. Uh, so I was asking about those those three words uh, that you can say, is the, these are the three. I am today. Mm, like I told you, passion, commitment, passion, and hard work. It's also the one in the uh, mm-hmm. sports, between our party, sports. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but you know, they say with the if you excel in sport, it's a ticket out of poverty. Amazing. Like in international one did the hard work, ni take a commitment. Like I told you, we used to carry my big to my home. She mama need to work. She know my my practice sessions. She just say you don't want to spend any time at all. She does it. So, in mm-hmm. at some stage, and I want to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm But uh, mm. I guess time can be said, you can't force things. Um, I believe it, right. uh, God's time is the best. So I waited for my time. Uh, right. Yeah, my today. Wow, that's amazing! Yes, uh, so these are these are very important uh, qualities that you guys have explained, man. Because uh, uh, yeah, hard work, uh, confidence, and 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 and, and, and passion. And uh, you know, I've noticed good pa 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 ghetto kasin zikato. Ah, you know, whatever sport, especially this sports like like cricket, right? Cricket. Uh, traditionally, sports here either 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 warungu or people from uh, from uh, from uh, from middle class uh, to upper class, you know, uh, suburban backgrounds. So for you to even step in and say, "You know, I belong here," you know, put me in first batsman, didn't you? you know, it, it takes a lot of confidence, guy. You know, and it's, there's a lot of competition, yeah. and if you're confident. Uh, uh no gonna go kungo and it's not even about talent, it's about how confident you are. So that's good to hear. That's good. Hey, by the way, to our listeners, if you have any questions uh for our guests today, uh Benya Tanga and, and Kevin Kasuza, uh please throw them in uh in the comment section here. And now let me ask you the, the same question I asked uh I asked uh Ben. Who is your favorite uh, cricketer of all time? Yeah. Any, uh, I think. Uh, Ross Taylor from New Zealand. Ross Taylor. That's, that's your, yeah, that's your all time favorite. Uh, man. So how does it feel? 
it, you know, and very few people in the world ever experienced this. How does it feel to know Kuti the same field that Ross Taylor is on is the same field now that you will uh you will now be in the same space, you know, Kuti. Madara ako Madara Ako Tambo you know, Pamamonya Ipapo, so to speak. How how do, how does that feel? Man, yeah, a few more to jump out of that live because uh, like you said, could you have a show my own at this opportunity? And uh, no need, I speak you from the gate of the which I made that live, so I think yeah. it's special. Indeed, indeed. Uh, so I heard, Kuti, you, I think uh, Sean Cobbs was telling me this, and uh, I wanted to hear it from you, uh, that there was uh, everything going well, Nenya Air Corona, there's, uh, uh, you've been uh, invited for the next, uh, for the next uh, uh, test as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ne, my games are here against Australia, I think. So, hopefully, it will be a All right. This is in... Uh, so. This is in... Uh, what, uh, in Diri Nui? Uh, August. August, okay, okay. Sounds good, sounds good. And uh, kinda, if you uh, if you are in the team, you will be going to Australia. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, uh, uh Mr. Nyatanga, uh, when yes. um, when do the games start up for you? When do you? I know could you, things are still in the air and you are lockdown, but do you know when uh? When you are playing next, and or when your next uh, national assignment may be. Okay, uh, next uh, assignment was supposed to be scheduled for June, but then okay. as of right now, we are not sure of uh, the date because of this pandemic uh, that is all over the the world. Right. Okay. 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 So, now so let me ask you. This inform this All right, all right, all right. So when you are, oh, I, I, I think this is interesting. When you are back in Dangamvura, you know, you've played national team, you play in Harare. Uh, when you are back in Dangamvura, uh, what sort of things do you do to, uh, to help uh, shape the next uh Benya Tanga, the best uh the next rims, the next Zimo. Uh what are you doing? Uh what sort of things do you do in the you know, with the with the uh with just the community that will help uh the next person uh come out of the uh, come out of, of, of our situation as well. All right, all right. Uh you know I'm sure you're aware of our our, our product, uh basketball against drugs. Yes, yes, basketball against drugs, indeed, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is an, it's an event that we do annually in December. So in December, that's when uh, I'll be off season and I come home. So I participate yeah. in, the, in, this, in this event so that we can nurture the kid. So how do mm -hmm. I participate? We, go, we train for, for that event. So, mm -hmm. so it's always a, it's a basketball game against Dangamura. Uh, against uh, mm -hmm. Mutari Select. So I take my time to practice with youngsters and then I also take my time to play the, the, the basketball game as well. That is uh, on the event basketball next round. So okay. our main aim is to, to motivate the kids, to spread awareness out there to kids that you cannot do anything uh, with drugs. And I'm sure no one can ever mention one person who ever achieved anything from being drugs. So that's our drive. So I'm always with the community, uh, 
participating in all yeah, events that we that we host here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, all right. Uh, no, that's that's big. And uh, I was talking to uh, to Coach Tonde the other day. Could he, this side? I actually met a guy in Detroit, a uh, white guy in Detroit, who was saying he was in Mutare over Christmas and he was there at, at, uh, at, at, at in Nangamvura for basketball against drugs, which, uh, you know, so that's amazing just to hear about how international it's gone, right? And uh, in terms of uh, people recognizing it. Uh, so uh, great with that, brother. Really, really appreciate your efforts. Actually, my uh, organization, Clubhouse International, uh, partners with you guys. Well, to to donate a and you may have seen our banners there. Um, yeah. So, so thank you so much. Let me. Okay, there's a comment here from. Um, oh, there's a question here. Uh, uh, from Boss uh, Bunzawabaya. Uh, this one is for Kevin. Uh, what, uh, Kevin, what have you learned from the Highfields Cricket Net that brought all these great players? And how can we make it in Namvura or even Mutare? My brother. Sorry, come again. Sorry. Highfields Cricket Net. Uh, Cover all these great players, and how can we make the same in Langham without even just Mutari? How can we, uh, you know, the Highfields Cricket Net is famous. How can we, what do we need to do to get something like that in Mutari? I think, uh, for his start, is a better Langham it's only in schools, so. Munaga Zuba Uchkuruga, Kuno Monoji, Kanabo, Uchkuru, Kutashan, Sima facilities, the Bashkur, Anugaskapani, but Anugash Masoch and Kama, my community facilities, I like a Kunuting Eva Pate, a Pantam of tennis, basketball, soccer, but to my surprise, a banana trick ticket. You see? So, but I feel to go like a Itagashi, Pantam Gabura, Pantam Gas, Ronda, and the ticket Iribo. So, one go to Aguna Boraga, be unwashed cricket, then the next thing. So, I think you can look at so much facilities, a massenters, a good if one can benefit, whether or good account or separate. So, I'm doing it. All right. So the facilities are, are a big, are a big, uh, are a big deal, um, and cricket, you know, we are going to see another bora. You go to bora, you can go to the game round You need, you need my nets, and and these other things. So, indeed, uh, and a yeah. comment as well from from uh, boss Bunzobaya. Uh, these are great inspiring stories of triumph and encouragement. Great work, guys, and I'm sure some more is to come. Uh, uh, then he says, uh, my wish is that we get the stories to the other youths that might not have the opportunity to be on Facebook. Uh, so, yeah, th that's the reason why we do these things, absolutely. And, uh, you know, like I said, the, 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 the videos will be available on YouTube and as well, Saka, but maybe the challenge will be for 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 Corbs and other people in Nangamvura right now to make sure that the the, the, that the our students are, our uh, other people uh, get to watch these videos as well. Okay, so I think we can we can we can finish here. But before we go, uh, I'll let you guys have the have the last word. Uh, each uh, we'll start with you, Kevin. Then we'll go to Ben. Uh, what final word do you want to to give the the people of Nangamvura, uh, as well as our listeners uh, all around? Um, you know these are trying times uh, everywhere. Uh, well, you know, 
you know, people can walk away with what it, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Kasuza was was on was on Facebook Live and and he said this thing and it and it and it, and it encouraged me. Mm, firstly, 2020, to go in your So mm -hmm. I think people should follow the rules, like uh, sanitizing, uh, social distancing. You can go make a short. You have your mask in public and don't spread the disease. And for uh, my sport, I don't want somebody to be what you love to You have to know what you want. Uh, mm -hmm. Make sure you put 100% of what you need to negotiate. And I believe with the Akuna Adweek, you need them some never. Mm. So, mm. Was it a good time is the best. You can't push time. You can't go to the corner and don't post things. That's all I can say. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you. Okay. All right, uh, my last words uh, just to say that uh, sky is the limit. Everything else mm -hmm. we have. Uh, when you want to, to achieve something in life, the sky is always the limit. People will talk, mm -hmm. people will discourage you, but then if you are goal-oriented, just have to remain focused. Then you definitely you, you achieve mm -hmm. your goal. Indeed, 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 indeed. Wow. So those are those are powerful final words, man. I really like the uh, First of all, the advice on corona still stands true, Nanasi. And it will probably be like that for a while. So thank you for that reminder, uh, Kevin. Then also uh, your reminder for us to to work hard uh, with the with the phrase that I really like. What Akuna hard work, you know, in you know, in the Msango, and that's very important. Uh, then as well to Mr. Nyatanga, who mentioned Kuti. Uh, the sky is the limit, and uh, just to be goal oriented. Uh, you know, these are in tough times. Sometimes, uh, you know, it's hard to, to believe in those things. So thank you so much uh, for that reminder. Uh, and uh, and uh, thank you so much to everybody who tuned in. I see here we have uh, Florence, who's giving Mr. Kasuza uh, some, uh, you know, you know, Arbuku uh, Simbisai, as well as others. So thank you guys so much. Um, uh, I hope we, we can keep in touch and uh, I wish you all the very best uh, as, as you go on with your careers. You are very inspiring, not just to the, to the youths, but even to, uh, to us who are, who are overseas and who, are, who may be older than you. Uh, so much for taking your time today. Yeah, thank you so much for you. having us. All right, brothers. All right. Yeah, yeah all the best for sure.